Hello there, uh, hopefully you can hear me over the torrential rain that's going on outside. Uh, so today I got in a nice wee thing, uh, I've had them in before a couple of times, uh, the analogue pocket, and this one we got in was quite a nice colour, but I'm going to show you some of the stuff that came in. Okay, so we've got the, the box dock that comes with it, which is pretty much what you would expect. Uh, you've got your charger, your HDMI output and stuff in that. Really nice. Uh, the packaging on the analog stuff's really nice. Yeah, we've got a protective hard case. I'm not sure how well that writing on the box is showing up. You'll probably see it better if I tip it like that. Uh, again, it's a bit wrong seal. It does what it says on the tin because it's a hard plastic storage case for it. Uh, and now. Got the main event, which is the actual console, the analog pocket, and this one is a limited colour. The last one I had in was just a white one, but this is transparent or translucent blue. Uh, it's a beautiful machine. I do like a nice see through console. Uh, as you can see there, it can take Game Boy cartridges. Uh, natively, you can get adapters for Game Gear, Lynx, PC Engine, etc, etc. But, we'll see how well this shows up on the camera. Uh, so, first options obviously for the play cartridge. I haven't got a cartridge in it just now, but the FPGA thing is pretty cool. So, you can play different handhelds on it. So you can play Game Gear, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. If we go in here and run the core, you will see we have a slightly dubious memory card in it, full of really cool games. Uh, and I think if we go... Oops. What button's back? Hmm. Back. I should probably have had a look at what I was doing with this before I decided to try and show you. Right, what button was that? Right, so if we go into console, we've got Genesis, which is Mega Drive, Master System, Neo Geo, PC Engine, PC Engine, CD, SNES, Super Game Boy. Uh, let's see what we've got on the PC Engine. We've got, oh, there we go, there's Sapphire. So. It takes a wee minute to load up the core for the console. Uh, there's run button, which would probably be that. So, I don't know how familiar you are with this, but Sapphire is one of those games that goes for about a thousand pound these days. Uh, it's one of the more visually impressive games on the PC Engine, and it is a shoot 'em up. Uh, let's see if we can get some. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can tell from the video how good the screen is, but it is absolutely stunning. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Let me shoot things. Now, I am terrible at shooting up, so no laughing, please. Funny, the sprites on this almost look rendered. So, yeah. Oh, that went well. And I had a wee shot earlier on on the Neo Geo, which was really cool, so you've got Yeah, some excellent games, Garu, which is stunning Ironclad, another really nice shoot 'em up uh, Obviously a King of Fighters 
and get your metal slugs. We'll just kid on we didn't see metal slug fire there because it sucks. So I guess what I'm trying to tell you is you should buy yourself an analog pocket. All the analog machines are pretty stunning. The Super NT, which is a Super Nintendo and the Mega SG. The Mega Drive versions are amazing. Uh, you get your nice HDMI output and stuff like that as well. Uh, they use the FPGA, which is not emulation. It's, well, I'm not going to kid on, I know exactly how it does it, but it's pretty much perfect. Uh, yeah, and they're just really, really well designed machines. And I've got the Duo, the Analog Duo out now as well, the PC Engine one. So, really, really cool stuff. Uh, we'll just show you a wee bit of this game and then I'll let you get on with your lives. Uh, but yeah, the screen on it is absolutely stunning. And you can output HDMI to your TV. Obviously, I would hope you've played the Metal Slug games because they're incredible. So, brilliant sound, great screen, and yeah, well, well worth having. That is very loud. You know, this just blows me away every time I play it. It's been years since I've played this. Oh, hello. Let's go on the east side. That went well. Anyway, you get the gist of it. Amazing machine. And well worth picking up if you can get one. I think it's about £350, £400 at least for the full setup here. But I think it's worth it. But hopefully you do as well. Okay. Right, as always, thank you for your time. And hope you enjoy seeing somebody really bad playing games. Bye.